Right now you're tuning in No Rap Cap Podcast Every Tuesday Every Thursday 7pm Be sure to like Comment Subscribe And when you subscribe Man hit that bell And make sure you hit all So you can be alerted Every time we drop New content Uh Appreciate all our monthly members, man. We suggest if you're not a member, get you a monthly yeah, membership. Please Five dollars, man. Never that heard shit nobody. ain't never hurt nobody, man. Not at all. Uh, like I say, just real raw shit, man. I go by gas to hate him. I'm Mr. Mina, the instigator. I'm J. Tom, the mediator. Facts. And we back with another one, man. Facts, yeah. Like we never left, man. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. going down, man. Mm-hmm. It's going down. It's been it's a going serious down, week. Man. <laughs> serious <laughs> week, all kind of things. I think we got action. Oh, we definitely got action. Yes, sir. We got to talk about Terrence Gangster Williams. Terrence Gangster and Queen France. Right. Mr. Answer Right Back. Answer Right Back. Mr. Civilian. Mr. Civilian. He was Mr. Civilian in that car. Oh, yeah. He like you about to cry. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I say, ooh, when that, when that camera go off, he going to drop a tear. Yeah, he, went, he, he, home, he ain't bro. had the same energy. Right. Then he come on and talking about he been assaulted. Yeah. <laughs> Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop. Right, 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 right. She about to hit home, bro. Right. That nigga talking about he little buzz lip. That nigga, man. I ain't seen nothing. Man, nigga ain't seen nothing, man. Stop it, man. <laughs> nigga said, yeah, my lip. you probably did it. <laughs> yeah, but, you know. Nigga ain't letting that big dog a dog walk out there. Yeah, bro, you probably gave the price not to fire you from that old man. <laughs> Guys are probably buck naked like you said with one sock on. Butt naked with one sock on <laughs> running behind that uh, booty, boy. <laughs> 23 <laughs> years? With the whole board over there, you hear me? 23 right. years, boy, your first whoop? Right. Uh, that's two by four status. That's why you get about you. That's why you got the two by four. Now it yeah. all makes sense. Right, right, right. Now it yeah. all makes sense. You know what I'm saying? That's what that two by four is for, boy. You thought she was going to call her people. Right, right, yeah, right. Man. Yeah, I'll come in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can't have no guns. Can't have no weapons. I can't have no weapon run, but y'all come in here. I'm going to defend myself. Big old fact. But yeah. on some real shit, though, man, just on the flip side, bro, like, some of them, some of these females, dog, like they be having hidden agendas. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Uh, fucking with mm-hmm. niggas and vice versa. Niggas be having hidden agendas mm-hmm. on females. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And sometimes, bro, when <clears throat> the hidden see when you have hidden agendas, you expecting whatever your hidden agenda is to work fast. Like, you, you you ain't doing this to play yeah. or to take time. Trying you see what I'm happen. saying? You trying to make it happen. But when you starting to see, you can't control it. When you start to see your hitting the agenda, not no boom, 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 bam, like it's fast. That's when the problems you, kick. You expose yourself. Right. You, you see what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you got to be a strong person to keep that hitting agenda throughout. The duration of like like the relationship or whatever you because to do. they got other people on the outside that's talking about you. Girl, you fucking with him, you fucking with her, whoever it may be. Right, yeah. And you don't want the perception of others having of you. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. all that's fucking with you. Like, I know what I'm doing, I'm trying to get me, but you waiting on that to, to, certain go, thing to, happen, right? to go fast. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, but you right. still got that outside shit coming in, and you like. That you gotta deal with. Right. That you gotta, like, yeah, answer to Because you like went that. into it with, like, fuck what they talking about. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm here to get me. And right. then when you start getting the backlash from the shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Now you're trying to speed the process up, like, the, so it can move forward, so you can get up out of there. Right. And then when it, when that ain't happening, and when it's, like, a person that somewhat might be attractive, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To where you get caught up into not emotions, you know what I'm saying? To where right. now you're getting attached to this person, and you still got the hidden agenda, but you're doing shit to where... You fooling yourself Like I don't really know I'm here for hitting the gender uh, cause I'm starting to really Fuck with this yeah, person I'm starting to like the person Like you know what I'm saying right. And then all the other shit Coming from the outside You like fuck that But it's still coming right. And you playing mind games With yourself Sometimes it affect you Sometimes it don't Right but Depending you on Yeah depending on the topic Of what it's really What it's really hitting for You know what I'm saying Some shit you can live with And some shit you just like I just wanna let the cat Out the bag right now What it's right. about You Get know what I'm saying it. But uh you know, that's a serious, you know, uh, allegation that you, you know, throw on somebody, like, you know what I'm saying, to, to kind of put somebody in a position, especially when, you know, and, 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 and we, I'm going to speak on it about the females, like, toward the males. When, when, when somebody's sitting on, like, you know, probation or, 
you know, anything, you know what I'm saying? Anything like that, you know what I'm saying? It could get crazy when, you know, you start threatening the person toward that type of shit because that shit could be a setback for, for the person, like jail time, whatever may be the case, you know what I'm saying? So shit get kind of ugly <laughs> when you're dealing with somebody in a relationship and they got that, you got that over your head, like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Knowing that, you know what I'm saying? I can quickly say he did this to do, do that to violate the person, like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Which put them in a bad situation. I mean, like, I got to damn near walk on eggshells because you could talk to me like you want to talk to me, disrespect me like you want to disrespect me. And anything that I throw back at you can always yeah. become a backlash on me to where you could call. just make a phone call and, and set me back. So even with dealing with somebody that's making me feel like that, I would have to automatically cut that person off before it even get to that level if I feel like, you know, uh, that's the threat that's over my head or that's the situation that I'm faced with. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I feel like like this person might even be a person that would do that, I can't fuck with you like that because I can't risk my, 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 my freedom like that to yeah. deal with you on mad day. This is how far you'll go with me, you know, to, 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 to set me back because that's how, that's the kind of, you know, there's a thin line between love and hate. So when, when, when the hate side of it comes, just as much as you love me, it's now it's the same way you hate me. So the same way that you wanted to help me, now you it's the same amount of energy that you want to mm-hmm. put toward hurting me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's what make that a, 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 you know, a funny situation or a scary situation. It's hard to tell. It's hard to read that shit from people to know if they're going to switch it up on you like that. You know what I'm saying? To have that threat, like, Sometimes when you see the threat, sometimes you. when you see the threats like in in an argument, because ah, you don't don't you know, oh, don't yeah, even I play with me like it. that. Don't oh, even yeah, play yeah. with me like that, because just playing with me like that could be you know to a yeah. level where, and then they, when it's bad, good. Then you know I never do you that. Oh, no. Come on, you know when you be mad, just say anything. Nah, yeah. don't say that to me because that's too scary. Because I never know what might just be the final draw with you that you'll go that route on me. Like you know, yeah, what yeah. that's that's how it goes. You 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 definitely right about that. Females say the most uh, hit under the belt, below the belt, like, man, like no other person. Right, Especially right, right. that's a chick that you're dealing with, you know what I'm saying? You pillow talking, you letting her know all the things about you so she she know what to say to trigger you. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that shit, as a man, bro, we, I ain't going to say like we want them fear, we want them to fear us, but it, it, it's, it's somewhat that because we like, you been... A woman, you being my lady, you know better not to say that to me. You know what right. I'm saying? So it's more mm-hmm. like we want to control them. Like, just by nature, like, you know, mm-hmm. some type of fear. Like, bitch, don't play with me. Like, you know not to tell yeah. me that shit when you mad or not. Right. And they know that. Right. So they say that shit to get under your skin. That's you know what I'm saying? That's the trigger. That's the trigger. Yeah. Intentionally. Yeah. Right, right. You know, because they know that's that's going to bother him more than anything. But like I say, even if that's the type of things that you're playing with, it would have me, like I say, walking on eggshells to a level where I'm like, man, I just never know when it's going to be that final draw where you just might go with that type of move. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, uh, you know, that's, you know, you know, there's the Gwendolyn law, like, for you know sure, what I'm saying? Like, you know, that kick in to where you got to go sit down for three days over a domestic violence situation where no matter what, you know what I'm saying? You got to stay in jail at least 72 hours, you know what I'm saying? Before yeah. you can get released, you know what I'm saying? And, and, there's there's guys that do abuse people, but for girls that you know cry wolf like on it, it just make it bad for all all males in that you know in that 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 perspective because it makes it like you know they know that they have that defense on their side like to a level. Of, all I got to do is say this, and they're gonna take you. You know what I'm saying? Like right. you know you know at one time it was like they take both parties. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you know mm-hmm. or if y'all say y'all had to fight, both y'all got to go. But Look like that law done kind of switched within itself because when they come there, like you know, what I'm saying the majority yeah. of times when, when when they have a domestic violence call, the only person go to jail is the man, like you know, what I'm saying. And sometimes mm-hmm. it don't even be over you actually putting your hands on them. It's just like we had an argument, and and she called the police, and you know, what I'm saying I want him out and want him to go and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. And you know, sometimes you the police like just don't even make you leave it, make you leave all right. I'm gonna make you leave and, and go down what to the up? precinct. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and then we gotta sort that shit out once we get into that. So that's 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 a touchy uh, situation, but people tend to play with it a lot. Like you know what I'm saying? Because they got the power to do it. And bro, like if you getting yourself towards the feeling to where you get so mad, where you can't 
even think logically, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's best, to, bro, just to let them go. You know what I'm saying? No matter if you think they're a bum or they bad, uh, you know, this is the best right. thing that ever happened to them. If you get into the point to where uh, you, you're not thinking logically and you might hit them and you might do something, this for women of men. Right. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's best to let them go because no matter what you think of them, bro, they have relatives. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to always, whoever the person is who feel like they're getting assaulted, they're getting the bad end of the stick, they're going to always explain to their relatives in the way of... They, they was the, right. Yeah, and they're going to explain to them in the way, like literally and purposely for you to be like, Oh, that's what that like, we on go. Like yeah, they right. don't even cause, cause they don't even think about it because the way you explain you you, way, you, yeah. you explained it to them with you that motive. You know right, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, turn yeah. them up like fuck, what, yeah. where, fuck them where you at now. Yeah, Let's right, go. Right. And you ain't no whole neither. You know what I'm saying? Right. It so, puts you in a bad situation, right? Now your domestic violence and turned into a murder. You see right. what I'm saying? Yeah, right. Like niggas come in jail all the time like that man to kill his bitch cousin nigga playing with me. You see what I'm saying? Right. right. Mm-hmm. Daddy, boyfriend, brother. Yeah. Because <laughs> right. you, you, you ain't no hope. Right. 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 Yeah. And then sometimes niggas be so mad, call any one of them. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I tell you, call your brothers. Call your cousin, any yeah. one of them niggas. When, when you when you that mad, it, it, that's how you feel. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't thinking, you ain't even the logical part. Be done left your mind right there. You 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 be slightly insane for the moment. You know what I'm saying? Like you say, yeah. people usually go to jail and reflect on it to be like, damn, I should have just chill. I should have just left. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People think about that once they're sitting in there. But once right. you when, when your emotions is is, is flared to the to the height yeah. to where you know what I'm saying? You see number red. You know it's up, it's it, it, it ain't it ain't yeah, yeah it ain't no. Uh, calming that down too much That's that's mainly why they call the police You know what I'm saying And what mm-hmm. makes it even worse Is when they got kids involved You know kids go through it See it And uh, you know That's kind of trauma on them Because they love mom and daddy You know mm-hmm. You know what I mean And uh, you know It just put them in a bad situation Because yeah, it's almost like I gotta good. pick a side now You know what I'm saying Who right or wrong Through some grown up you know uh, disagreements. You know, dog, and, and and bro, I go in situations, and I live my life, dog, <clears throat> mainly about a lot of situations. And sometimes I might think that I'm I'm thinking fucked up, but I live my life on the better safe than sorry type, you know, level. You know what I'm saying about damn near everything in my life. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like overthinking, like you say, they're gonna keep me safe. They're gonna keep me cautious. So I'm, I'm always alert because that's how I'm living my life. Better safe than sorry. So I just dealing with somebody, bro, a friend, a family member, a nigga on the street, a, a, a female I'm dealing with. I'm always thinking about the shit. How should it be if shit go wrong? Before mm-hmm. you even go wrong, man, you on good turn. But it's just something about my, my way of thinking. If it, if it was to go to, bad. If it was to go bad, what type of situation I'm in? So I protect myself from the times when the shit going to go bad. Mm-hmm. It never went bad between us. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. For me to let them go is down, I got to kind of see a pattern over and over that you have my best interest. And then I could be, all right, invite you to my house. I could, like, vent to you about personal situations I'm going through with my old lady, with my right. kids. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. I got to know all that, not just out the gate. You see what right. I'm saying? Because right. I'm getting to it with you. Now you know where I stay at. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I done seen niggas, you know, get into it with niggas in five years down the line, niggas spinning by their house because when things was good, you was having cookouts and barbecues, and this nigga ain't even showed you over. a pattern yeah. that right. nigga that he, got your best interest. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Right, right, so right. I live my life like that because I know, bro, the closer a motherfucker is to you, that's they, they, they more dangerous than anybody. The that's people right. close to you the most, they, they become the most dangerous yeah. to you. That's, that's right. the ones that can hurt you the quickest, the fastest. They know everything yeah. about you. They know everything about you, yeah. right? You know, um, um, you know, and, and it's crazy that you got to keep your guards up for people that you love like that. You know what I'm saying? But that's the situation that we uh, we face with every day in life. You know, uh, you know. But like I say, domestic violence is something that uh, it, it, it's serious out here because there's another side to domestic violence where people actually do get killed behind you know the anger or the or the, or, or the beef or the fight mm-hmm. or whatever may be the case it leads to somebody getting killed and that's male or female they got some women that's been abused a lot by men right. and then they be fed up and then that guy come home that day and she, she that's the day she kill him mm-hmm. you know so you know it you know it, it, it turns out but listen people always want to make it like domestic violence is only the male fighting the female 
But I've seen guys that's been abused by their girl because they was raised not to hit a woman, things of that nature, and they take a lot of abuse off them to a level to where the, the woman become the abuser in a situation, you know. And it's, right. it's domestic because it's, it's at home and it's male and female or whatever dealing with it, but the woman is the one that throw the licks, the, you know, on the man. He don't hit her because he, he, he was raised not to hit women. Mm -hmm. uh, and she know that he's not going to hit her, so she abuse him, hit him with something, throw something at him, just the mm -hmm. whole nine, stab him. All kind of shit. Egging them so all. yeah, so you know, but it, it don't even be an egg on because he's just not gonna hit him. He's not even bred to do that. Like it's just not in him. He just look at it like that's just her. But I'm talking about cutting his, you know, guys over there. I done seen do get stitches on his eye. I'm like, man, what happened? Man, my girl, like you know, what I'm saying, hit me in the head with a skillet. Like you know, what I'm saying, like, man, you still way, with bro. her? Yeah, and you sometimes know, I love her, bro. Even, and sometimes yeah. it's Some like grave, y'all love. Sometimes don't even be that a nigga was raised like that. Nigga be Sometimes nigga be Ain't having in the head Some of the situations We just talked about Nigga know who she can to Nigga know her shit relatives like And shit like that So you, you scared Of the people Who she mm -hmm. even connected to right, You know right. what I'm saying Sometimes it be that right, It be right. that And it also This would it be Most of the time And females take advantage of it And that's why They hit you over And over and over A nigga know the strength Of they self As being a man you see what I'm saying? So I know if I was to do you something, was to hit you, like, I'm going to break your jaw. Yeah, You're going to go to the yeah, hospital. Yeah, I got like, too much strength on me. Yeah, like that. And that's why I think a lot of niggas don't do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Niggas do it when they become to the point, as what Thomas said, well, you didn't did it so many times mm -hmm. to where well, when I do do it, I done flashed out. Flash and that's you. when... You see, that, that, that's when a nigga flashed out and you know your strength and that's why you be seeing it on movies and in real life when nigga slap the fuck out of a bitch or hit a bitch, you on the floor helping her. Are you all right, babe? Because you know at that moment, like, man, I'm... I, I, she, she, baby she, she, she boy. She provoked yeah, me right. and I... And, and I a baby boy. <laughs> yeah, and I just hit it to... You know what I'm saying? Like, I was fighting a nigga. You know what I'm right. saying? So now you on the floor because... It don't know you that fast, like man, man. I'm tripping, but it's after the effect, and now you on the floor. Get up, babe. You want some water? Yeah. I'm sorry, cause you thinking about all the shit that gonna happen to you now. You right, see what right, I'm saying? Right, right. But you provoke me, right? How, 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 you know when when it's because I, I consider those type of relationships toxic. Like it's it's just, it's just toxic to a level to where you know if you know you're in a situation that that's serious, you know. It's just best to walk away from it, bro, because at the end of the day, it's going to lead to that bill up. Everybody got a fed up point. Everybody got a level where, yeah. you know, they click where it's just like, you know, maybe you hit me too hard this time and I snap. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It could be anything. It, you know, uh, you know, it's just it, it could be the situation at hand, meaning like you're fighting me over something my bust you doing. I yeah. caught you down bad. You got the nerve of you. I'm already enraged of what you did to even be trying to fight me now. And mm -hmm. then the fight could be to a level where, you know. You know, choking, you know what I'm saying? Because some people like to be like, I ain't put my hands on her, but I ain't really beat her, but I, I choked it out. You know, taking um, anger management classes, that's one of the worst things to do because you never know how strong you're choking her, like that you'll wind up killing her just thinking that you're trying to contain her. Mm -hmm. she, she, she's struggling, she's she really out of breath and she's trying to fight she that way, you but you yeah. think she's fighting you back, but at the end of the day, she's she fight fighting for a breath. Yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying? You don't even know it because you're so caught up in with trying to contain her to that level. So, you know, that stuff, you know, those domestic violence situations lead to things like that. Now the guy's going to jail and looks like, man, I really love my girl. And I wasn't even trying to kill her. Mm -hmm. I just was so mad at what she was doing and the way she was attacking me that I was just trying to contain her mm -hmm. and I wind up killing her in, in that manner. So that's, that, you know, those type of relationships are real toxic and it can lead to things yeah. that people wish and hope that they never would have did. You it's know better to, to, like you say, it's better to leave them, but it's, it's, it's easier to stay. In some situations, it just be easier. Some Break it people, down. They might not have nowhere else to go, even though Sometimes, it's always, right. you know what I'm saying? So it's better to, all these shit here, they from somewhere else, you know what I'm saying? They dealing with this shit just because it's convenient for them. Right. And this will work for them. They hate the shit. They don't want to be there, even though everybody tell them, man, look, you should just go ahead. No, it's easy, you know? It's easy. Just leave when a nigga not there some shit, you know what right. I'm saying? When she not there. But sometimes it just... It's, it's easier to stay You know what I'm saying To deal yeah. with the shit I'm not one that could deal with that I don't think I'd be able to deal with that shit A uh, 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 verbally or uh, physically abusive woman To me You know what I'm saying Ain't no way I could deal with that right. And I hope I don't ever be like that to a woman You know what I'm saying Because right. that ain't my nature You know what I'm saying right. But I understand they got people like that It just 
it's better for him to leave, but it's easy for him to stay. I can <laughs> kind of feel like if it was a female, because they emotional when a nigga like easier to stay because they don't want their family member to look at this, this dude in another way, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? No matter how bad your face fucked up, no matter how bad he did you, they don't want their family members to know they've been getting treated yeah. like this because they've been living a life of everything was sweet. Everything's been sweet with us, you know right. what I'm saying? So they, they don't, they, so, so, so they don't want to leave and go by their people. That That's why it's more easier for them to stay. But a nigga, I can't say, I can't, I can't sit here and say it's more easier for a nigga to stay because... Bro, if 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 you a strong person, bro, and you just know shit ain't right, yeah, man, it, nigga don't give a fuck about starting over. When, you know, nigga sleep in a car. Right. You know what I'm saying? Till you figure some shit out, nigga, a pillow post yeah. that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, till they figure they something out. You said the key thing is be strong enough. Like, that's what I'm you know, saying. A lot because of a lot of a lot of guys don't be as strong as as we may perceive them to be. You know, uh, when it comes down to the reality of it, and mm-hmm. some people don't want to. You know, they feel like if they walk away. They giving up that person that they still love because even though they're going through this abuse and these type of uh, situations that they may be dealing with, they that don't stop that they still love the person. Right. You know. You know. We looking at it from a level of like, how could you love somebody that treats you that Thank way? You for sure. But somebody that's in love with that person that's treating them that way, uh, you know, they, they 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 see it as you know this is just how it is. Uh, how it they is. got some females that feel like if he don't hit me, he don't love me. That's crazy. You know, I've they seen relationships yeah. like that where it was like, you know, he only hit me because I made him mad, and yeah. you know, that's you know, I, I I was wrong. I shouldn't even did that. You know, I understand why he hit me because I, I, you know, or whatever. Yeah. He just loved me like that, and he don't like me to talk to him like that, or he don't like me to talk back to him that way. You know, and uh, he don't mean nothing by because I know he loved me. He give me mm-hmm. all the money, anything I want, anything that I I need. You know, either help for me or provide. So they find all these different reasons on why they should stay more than they should leave right. because they feel like they can cope with. Uh, you know, the monster that he he becomes when he's mad, you know. And, you know, some of these domestic violent charges come from alcohol, drug abuse. You know, he's all right until he gets on drugs and then, you know, mm-hmm. he act out a certain way. So in their mind, they feel like all I got to do is give him his little space, try not to be around him around this time. We can make this work. They try to work through those situations. but I know you, know. you say niggas should just leave if it's toxic, but... Just like you were saying about the anger management shit. Like, that's why they had that shit, the anger management shit and counseling where they teach you all these ways to, Mm -hmm. you know, for the marriage not to go left and shit like that, take deep breaths, count to 10 backwards and all this old stupid ass shit. So... By human, just just by being human, bro, like, it come to a point to where you gonna calm down. You know what I'm saying? And then you dealing with yourself like, they ain't really me. You dig? I flashed out because you did provoke me, but they ain't really me. You dig? And you crying, she crying, and in that situation right there, that, at that moment, like, you so genuine to where you talking with tears in your eyes and shit because you really mean it like that ain't true. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you just, but you just calming down into the next situation. Right. I don't think it's toxic when mm-hmm. niggas should it leave because niggas human. Then, like I said, niggas calming down. That's why you could be so, so mad with somebody and then you go up the block or you go chill with your partners then mm-hmm. you return home that night and you probably was Man, I'm talking about fucked over this female, but you going back like you ain't never did nothing because you didn't went calm down. Mm-hmm. Right. But she's mm-hmm. still mad like nah in the like like she the one that got hurt. Mm-hmm. And you like come here, babe. I'm sorry this. I'm sorry that. Cause you not even mad no more. Like you don't even you don't even understand why she's still mad. You right. see what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> because it just it just that you didn't calm down. So that's how shit come back together. You know what I'm saying? Until it happened again. Until it happened again. So I don't think it be is even. It might be toxic, but it's not looking as toxic as a nigga think. Because every time you coming back together. You know what see, I'm saying? See, see, see the the problem at making it. Uh, a toxic situation is because it continuously happened. Meaning we're mm-hmm. not elevating from that. Yeah. You know, uh, things Too can frequent. start from fusses and fights, fights into just spats. And when they get to a level of like y'all on the level of spats, that means some y'all have grown to some level to where y'all agree just to disagree. All right, well, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's an attitude, it's a little issue, but it ain't no, you know, hard out like stuff. Like, but when people haven't can't can't get to the level to to to, to not have those type of big fallouts, that's what make it toxic because it constantly keep happening and it's only going to lead to somebody getting hurt down the line because mm-hmm. we never know what's going to tick this person off as a build up of being like 
this the final draw or you done you done pissed me off so much now or so bad this time that it went further than I wanted it to go because right. we laying hands on each other. Right. It's just not even cool in no relationship to lay hands on people pre- pretty much at all, no matter what you did or she did. Mm-hmm. Don't hit me, I won't hit you, vice versa. Like it should you know, on any level. If the woman hitting a man, you know, it, it that's toxic to me. If the man hitting the woman, that's toxic to me because it's just not right for us to even lay hands on people. But when sometimes when you come up in households of seeing that, sometimes that's that that that's the way that you was raised that you don't see nothing wrong with it. Right. You know, you you know, you it's you know they got, I, I remember older I don't men go by that me, bro. I, I just remember older men telling me like, Man, you gotta put her in check. You gotta lay you know, sometimes you gotta lay hands on them to get them, you know, when when they out of line. Mm-hmm. You know, that was like I saw older men speaking like that, like not directly talking to me, but just talking amongst men and you watching it, you know, watching them talk. You looking like, damn, like, you know, that must be the way that you, you, you keep them in check, like to some, some level, like, you know what I'm saying? Right. So sometimes, you know, you can be raised into, you can be raised as seeing that as nothing wrong. That could be your norm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If something that you see going on as a normal, you looking like, man, that's how it is. That's that, right. you know, some people look at abuse as being, normal. my daddy did it to me. He right. with me with extension cards. He, 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 you know, that's they excuse, don't see nothing bro. wrong that's with it. Right. for not being accountable for your actions, dog. That's not genetic shit, bro. You know it's what I'm saying? Genetic, like, it's, that, it's that, just that, that you've seen. You that's what I'm saying. I, I don't, genetic. I don't, I don't go off of that. Nigga can reach a certain, yeah. a certain level of age, bro, and been around this world, my nigga. You know right what to do wrong. and what not to do. <laughs> it don't matter. You raised in that household, right. but you see a motherfucker. Beat, beat, beat. You know what I'm saying, you man. Know right from you, wrong. you, you know, they ain't what a nigga supposed to do, dog. I, I, I don't, I don't go for that shit. Nah, just because my daddy whooped me, I'm gonna whoop the shit out of my kids. Mama told me put my hand on the stove, so I'm gonna make my kid. Nah, I ain't, I ain't. Nah, I'm not saying all that Other shit. People cool. can't I'm not looking. For this show. I'm not looking. No, fuck no, man. Yeah, that's some it. people. Mm-hmm. That's the perfect thing that I'm trying to say. Some people don't think for themselves. They only think uh, about that's an excuse. What was, what was, what to justify was the action portrayed to them. As being right because they know mama love them, mm-hmm. they know daddy love them. You know, some people feel like you know the hardship of what my daddy gave me made me the man I am today. Right. You know, and and some some people see like I know how it felt to me. That's why I don't do it to my kids. And then they got people that feel like that was done to me, so that's what I'm gonna do to my kids. It's, it's, mm-hmm. That just to justify the action, bro. You're not you you you're not holding yourself accountable for your actions. That just an excuse. That's nah, true. man. Mm-hmm. That just an excuse, bro. Could be the excuse, you know. You 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 you're right. Yeah, it could you, be directly an excuse, but to a person that's dealing with it or de- you know going through it, they, they they might see that what you call an excuse is the right way that they should handle it because that's the way that they see fit that things should be handled. Like I whip your ass when mm-hmm. you get out of line. <clears throat> You know, they yeah. got some people that feel like I don't even touch my kids. I don't, I don't whip them. I punish them. I do certain things that came from abusive uh, households. But then they got other people that be like. No, you supposed to whip their ass. They will use a Bible verse from it. Spread a mm-hmm. ride and mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. That, 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 you saying the same thing? I say excuse and, and justifying why you grabbing the Bible, saying this. You just, bro, it's so much shit, dog. And mostly everything in this in this world, dog, that we could see something right now, bro, and we could be like. This the reason why. This the reason why. Anything, dog. Anything that we think of, bro. Mm-hmm. Could be the reason why. We can come by. Yeah, nigga. I just say excuse, to bro. You. It don't justify mm-hmm. that that because you know you did something wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. nah, man. We smoke cigarettes with our right hand because you know what, nigga. Come up with so many analogies <laughs> and shit. But what bro, I'm saying like, is, if, if a person don't see it as wrong, see that's that's the biggest problem. See, you saying, nigga, no, it's wrong. The, the excuse is not say, saying that you don't see it's wrong. Nigga, do know it's wrong. Bro. I mean, from one to twelve. A teenager Everybody should know Right from wrong Unless they got Some mental problems Where they really like Diagnose well You know they, they, There's something wrong With them You know that what I'm saying That might be the only way Other than that You 12 years old Nigga from that point on The more you live You know right from wrong Ain't no way dog Because like Man Your mom whoop you In the motherfucking tub With an extension card Boy And then Time is different Why it, that making you know right from wrong because back then when your mama was whooping you with the mystic cars and shit, mm-hmm. them people who come get your kids today, all that shit was active to that to the point it is right now. Mm-hmm. So that's making you even know right from wrong. Boy, I hit my kids, my kids go to school. Boy, them people come and see you. Yeah. All that shit wasn't going on back then. So your people was able to get you know what I'm saying get past that. Now when you do, you know when you do that today, your people, oh, yeah. your, your fucking kids fuck around and get took from you. So that's one thing that's making you know. Like I bet. 
better not do that. Mm-hmm. And also, dog, when you seen your mama hitting your fucking your, your daddy hitting your mama, and you talking about fucking, I seen my daddy hit my mama. Man, down there, every nigga, bro, who gonna watch this podcast is us right here, boy. When your daddy was hitting your fucking mama, boy, you was in that room, boy, like you was about to, like you was about to jump in a double dutch road, nigga. Mm-hmm. Like, like, boy, Ready stop going there, fuck yeah. over this nigga, or uh, no matter who it is, cause you nigga, you knew as a kid. Yeah, that's that wrong. wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I said, excuse me, man. They talking about I did it because I saw my daddy. Boy, you wanted to beat your fucking daddy up. And it got these kids these days right here. Boy, nigga, split their fucking daddy wig from touching on my mama. Because I know that's wrong. Right, yeah. right, right. And, you know, they got people that feel like those laws that came in play was for controlling the household to a level of, like, you can't tell me how to mm-hmm. uh, Chastise my child Like they feel like That when that law Came into play That it was out They got some people That felt like it was right And they glad that law Is in place But then they also Had people that felt like Nah I, You know Because they got some parents That feel like I'm gonna beat your ass To get you right So that You don't go to jail Or you yeah. don't go out And do some crazy shit That's gonna like get you killed you And things of that level Like like They have some people That mind frame Feels like and it's justified within itself as being like you you know, you we could call it an excuse, but to them, wholeheartedly, they really feel like this is the right thing for him. Mm-hmm. You know, this 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 dude bad. This is a bad motherfucking kid. Like that's how some mm-hmm. parents look at their kid. He bad. You gotta beat his ass, cause if you don't beat his ass, he know no other way. I've talked to him a thousand times, I tell him don't do this a thousand times. No, the point I was making was for for for, for adults. With domestic violence Going to your kids That's different dog And I also think that For us just talking about the kids Dog You beating your kids bro Don't make them learn That No You gotta show them a better way bro You, you gotta show actions You just whooping your kids bro It's not gonna change nothing dog Cause just when they finish crying They own to the same shit mm-hmm. Like Nah bro Not even if they remember the punishment That they got from from doing this They just gonna get slicker from try- And try to do it another way Cause they remember The punishment But the punishment Not just exiting it out Like I ain't doing that no more So right, I don't right. I don't think whooping them Is the way to even Chastise them Right Just right. You got show them by action I, I, I get Get that part of, of it as well But we were speaking On domestic violence For as adult To adult You know what right. I'm saying Niggas using that As an excuse right. That's an excuse You know right from wrong yeah, bro yeah, Don't put your wrong. hands On that lady That lady know not To put her hands on you Right Right, right. Hey, you know, they got some parents that teach their sons, you know, you don't hit no woman, but if she hit you, yeah. <laughs> you better not, you know what I'm saying? They they have mean. those rules that come into, and like I say, judging off of right and wrong, if you feel like what you did that cause people consider is wrong, is right, you almost don't see what they're talking about to a level of like, nah, man, she hit me. Mm-hmm. And you feel justifiable to, to, to bat the shit out of a beat up like you want to beat up because she laid hands on you first. Not saying that that's right, guys. Just saying that that's the mindset of some people. You can't say that some people don't feel like that and they feel like it's justifiable. That's weak niggas. That's weak niggas. Right. I call them weak niggas. That's simp ass niggas. Because you know the power and the level of strength you have. You ain't you ain't dealing with no man, no manly bitch. You know what I'm saying? So you know the power and the strength. It's all type of things, bro, you could do to control a female with strength without putting your hands on them, bro. You know what I'm saying? As a self defense me- method. You know what I'm saying? I put you in the I'm corner. I go I could, I could, I could restrain you some type yeah. of way, bro, without to get some control in this bitch without slapping the the fuck out you are hitting you hard like I did with a man. That be the same niggas, bro. I never had a fight on the street and to go outside and you the weakest link on the corner. Nigga, bat the fuck out you and make, no, you can't catch no sales around here, but you the nigga that's putting your hand on them females at home, right, my nigga. Right. That's hey, a weak ass part, nigga. Well, I done seen some yeah. videos, it been some big old chicks whooping the fuck out some little slim niggas, you know, in the old nigga, you yeah, know. Right. But, I mean, and it looked like they was trying, but. <laughs> <laughs> just cause they had no, they had no power with it, right? <laughs> right, you know, yes, you know what I'm saying. Right. So it could, it could be both ways. Yeah, you know I just what I'm don't saying? think it's right on either side. You no, know, not at, at all. Not day, at all. You know, at, 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 as people, like period. You know what I'm saying? We just got to learn to don't put your hands on her. You, you don't put your hands on him. You know what I'm saying? Now, right? I think ain't saying let her stab you up and jig you up and just. Bell hugger and shit, you know, protect your life, nigga. I ain't saying sit down. Because if she come up with a weapon, you. then what, what what you do? She you swing know, with one hand and got a knife in the other one. If she swing it, first. It, 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 it's defense <laughs> mechanisms. <laughs> I'm saying it's defense mechanisms, bro. It, like, no elbow, niggas don't no, know. No elbow to the head. Nigga don't know. Nigga ain't never had to use it. Nigga and, ain't never had to practice. Sometimes, bro, like I said, 
Sometimes you got to play pussy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you yeah. know what you will do to this female if she come near you. You know what I'm saying? So you might have to run out the back door, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, or yeah, get, the, get fuck, the fuck. So, you know what I'm saying? Till I think the best thing is to down leave. Or something. The best thing is, is to leave. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if we speaking right now about conflict, uh, resolutions on that The best is just to leave Especially if you're the man Like don't 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 even If you know that you got a temper That's uncontrollable And she's hitting those Those, those points mm-hmm. that's, that's that's triggering certain things And, and I only see it Get to that point dog When The re- the relationship is kind of it's, it's over Or it's almost over It's, yeah. it's at the end You know it's what I'm saying So it, It's best for you to dip anyway bro Cause okay, y'all really just outgrown each other you know what I'm saying? To, if it gets to that point to where, like, she want to hurt you with a knife and, you know what I'm saying, grabbing a gun or the nigga grabbing a gun and shit, like, nah, bro, it, it's ready to get the fuck because it's all type of shit that could happen. You know what I'm saying? Emotionally, you did, And right. then it, it's too late to think about. You know what I'm saying? You ever mm-hmm. heard of the term um, graveyard love? Like, you know, people say that that's the kind of relationship people mm-hmm. be in. Like, they, they, they love each other to somebody going to put somebody in the grave. Yeah, I know they people. don't want to leave. Couples like you, that they got the couples day. that fight. That dude go to jail. That girl go to jail. That dude going to bat for to get her out here in court for yeah. like the whole nine. All like, you know, and if you say something against it, they going against you. Like, you know, it's like, almost like you can't even help a situation that... that 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 that's made like that or that can't keep no furniture in their house. Cause I look at shit like that <laughs> when they, everything, everything up. up. I look at shit like that when when things happen. The graveyard love, just the fight and all that graveyard love. That's just a one like one phase or one layer of the relationship. It's something else where you you look at her for strength. In another way, you know what I'm saying, and you don't want to lose that, so you looking past the the fight shit. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying? It, it, that, that's that's where it be because a nigga be scared to go out and find somebody else that's because you feeling like that's the best thing that happened to you. You know what I'm saying? So you you you, you 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 really crazy. You the fucked up one. Right. If something that detrimental to me, bro, and you looking at another strength that she have to where. Uh, she she act like this towards you, you know what I'm saying? And she, she can't get, this, get it nowhere. And you else, can't right? get that nowhere. Else. You the crazy one because my life not gonna be at jeopardy on the strength that she got this other strength that make me feel good to where I can't get it nowhere else. You know what I'm saying? Right. Sometimes you might have to compromise with that strength that you looking from from somebody else because that uh, that somebody else don't put you in a life situation like this. So that overpower that shit anyway, and right. that shit gonna be balanced. Man, nigga got to move around, bro. Motherfuckers start coming and attack you with knives and guns and all that shit. Nah. Bro, niggas just gotta move around. My nigga, the same. You you wasn't born with her. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's, it's some people also feel like they invested so much into a person or into a relationship that they refuse to let allow somebody else to even be in it. Reap the you're a weak you know, nigga. I mean, male and female. You it's know, uh, you know. I'm just saying that that's the mindset of some people as well. That's so, right. well, I invested so much in Tom, I, I just can't see him with nobody else. Or I invested so much into her, I can't see her yeah. with nobody else. And and they, they just go through this toxic shit over and over and over you're again weak. because of that. Yeah, and that means you're weak. Because you worrying about somebody else more than you worrying about yourself. Right, real talk. Oh, you can't. You weak. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the basis of that. Of what you're saying, but we, we, you know, we're speaking. We're speaking on this. These are some scenarios that people actually go through, whether they weak, strong, whatever may be the mm-hmm. case. These are some things that lead to what we consider domestic violence a day, and why people tend to. Try to stay in those relationships Due to these type of things These be the mindsets That they it, have it, toward it, it. it It's not no different than The other shit that we preach bro uh, The same type of shit bro Like Use situations bro To get out situations that you in Don't matter if it's domestic violence Or uh, selling drugs Or uh, you rocking with this nigga And he doing some shit That could get you in trouble It don't matter what the crime is bro If it's putting you in a bad situation It's best to move around Got nothing to do with love Or none of that shit No investment or nothing If this gonna put you in a fucked up situation You need to move around Right that's that's you, you said everything right there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's, that's the ultimate thing. Like you know what I'm saying? Got to yourself. Got to get some strength from somewhere to do stay it. Stay in the domestic violence shit, but get out this shit. This nigga trying to get you to rob a bank. Don't fuck with him. But stay in the domestic violence shit. Nah, it's the same. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Putting you in a bad situation. Got to move around, man. Bro, they even got parents that would coerce their, their daughter or whatever. Like he do. You like stay with him because you know what I'm saying? You know. 
you know, they probably lived in a, a domestic violence situation with, with, with the daddy or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then they coerce the, the daughter to, like, stick with the dude that's beating on her because they, like, he take care of you, though. You know what I'm saying? Ultimately, See, that's the strength. And they show, that, you, that all of, about, they show yeah. you all the benefits of staying with him besides, you know, saying getting out of there because he, he he beating your ass every day. You know what I'm saying? They'll tell them, like, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't talk to him. Like, like you know, they, 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 they make mm-hmm. the, the, the girl feel like you did wrong for... Telling him this or that, and that's he had a right to bat the shit out you right now because you know you you don't tell no man this or you don't you don't play with a man ego like that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? To a level to making a girl feel like, well, if my mama telling me this and I respect her so much, like then you know what I'm saying maybe that's you know right. what I'm saying yeah. you know this this is this is how it go in some 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 cases. And when like, it go know, down, that's why they don't go around their people. Right. That's why they don't tell them nothing. They ain't trying to go over there with their eye, with the lip. And they ain't going to have no, you know? they ain't going to have no backing on it for the most part. You know, like in some situations, in some situations, they don't go around because they know it's going to stem up him getting killed. And you got to right. learn things for yourself, Somebody's going to kill him. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You got to learn for yourself, nigga bro. might know all the cousins and the brother. Yeah. Call any one of them. You got to learn to think for yourself, bro. It don't matter because the person who love you and you love them unconditionally because they had you, bro, that they wait is the right way or uh, their advice is the best advice. But we take it as that because because we put them on a pedestal of being Respect, our parents, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Know like, nah, bro, you got you got you got to use your own judgment. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because your mama or the person who's telling you that they're not dealing with, with this person, yeah, they ain't got to live with it. Mm-hmm. They ain't got to live with it. But they they they, they, they they they'll tell you that because they feel like. Some some of them they reap benefits from the guy. Oh, that's a fact. You know, he buy me this, he take care of me. You know, he make sure I go to Bengal every week. Don't lose him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, so right. it have nothing to do with you. It's just mainly like the benefit that the parent getting out of it. They got some guy serve the daddy drugs. Oh yeah, man, stick with him, man. You know, mm-hmm. do the good do. Like you know what I'm saying, y'all. You know that 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 come with a relationship. You don't gonna have yeah. ups and downs. Like you know what I'm saying, it's going through the thick of it. Like you know what I'm saying. I, had, I come heard a, a, a daddy tell a chick that before. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. He a tugboat captain. You better stick with him. You know him to mess with drug dealers, and he but and got his life together, man. I didn't heard that, so yeah. I know you ain't lying. You know yeah, what I'm saying. You know, so they they got a, 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 a bunch of scenarios. That keep people in these domestic violence situations, you know what I'm saying? But like you say, Gas, the ultimate thing is, like, think for yourself. You know that it ain't good for you. Find a way to move around. They got other people out here, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you'll, you'll find a better situation if you just take, have enough courage to step out on it, you know? There you go. Cause, and then, bro, like, your people don't be knowing the situations. That's why when... You stay having problems when your mother-in-law or your father-in-law come stay with you. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Because now it's a, they, they, they right there. They, they in depth. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Boy, you better leave this nigga. Now you telling them, you know, boy, you better leave this nigga. But since you on the outside looking in and when a nigga it's come around good. you, man, it's man, all good. Man, yeah, man, it's all you know good. what I'm saying? You want something to Ask your mom if you want something from the store. Yeah. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Every, like, nah, you not in this fucking household. Yeah, this he, nigga, this nigga, lunatic. Trash. He's, he's sell an angel to them. <laughs> right. He's a demon with her. You know what I'm saying? So it's heckle and jekyll. She deal with the other side of him that they don't never get to see. You know, and, and only, vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Right. You be an asshole to your people. You know what I'm saying? Right. But and good to you. And good to you. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, and they got people that will talk to you to get out of that too because they feeling like I don't like how you disrespect me. Right, you know, so you know, you got to make a decision on that. What, what works for you in that situation well, as well? Yeah, this, this my family. You got to understand the family that comes from you is more important than the family that you came from. Right. Also, you got to you got to know that. You got some yeah. people that don't separate that. You, you got to know like, this. That. My mama, man, yeah. your mama is toxic. Dude. This my fucking son. You know what I'm saying? This my family. My mama or my mother-in-law not about to. You know, Dictate control me. what's going on with my family. You know what I'm saying? Right. Unless it's some shit to well, uh, you 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 see what's right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Nah, man, fuck all that. <laughs> yeah, but but sometimes what they see is right is still wrong. In your no, I'm household. saying I'm saying was 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 right wrong. for for real. Yeah, was right was oh, for oh, real. Oh, oh, was oh, wrong. Yeah, yeah you know wrong for real. Like yeah, you know you know you you got to watch who you take advice from. You know what I'm saying? Because some of that advice don't have nothing to do with you. It, it's, it's 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 to benefit the other person that's giving you the advice. They don't want you to cut ties with that person because it's more beneficial to them. For you to stick with them than to leave them. You know what I'm saying? Because the next guy you get with, he might not be able to be. You know, showing me love like this guy showed me love. So you gotta watch who you taking advice from. You know what I'm saying? You gotta use your own mind. You know.
Yep. That's why, listen, bro. That's why they ain't make this Gwendolyn Law just because. They made it because it's repetitive people who keep coming into jail for this shit. So they trying to make the punishment so extensive to where they really trying to help you walk away from the situation. That's why the punishment, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's, you got to stay in here 72 hours. You know what I'm saying? Three times. You got niggas in that bitch three, four times doing 10, 15 years. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got no violent charge, no murder, no on robbery and shit. They got niggas in domestic violence, niggas in there for child support. I'm talking about more than niggas who rob somebody. Yeah, they, right. they they trying to make the punishment that, you know what I'm serious to where you, you, you stop doing that. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, the, uh, when you spoke on the Gwendolyn Law, it got created because of that situation. You know, guy went to jail, came home and killed his wife. Like You know what I'm saying? And who they, killed Gwendolyn? Yeah. <laughs> that's how it happened. You that's know how the laws yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how that's how Gwendolyn got killed. That's what I'm trying so to tell you. We're gonna make a law. We're gonna call that bitch the Gwendolyn law because mm-hmm. we saw this happen. You know what I'm saying? And we was this was happening a, a lot of times before that. But this particular person is where we got fed up with it and made a situation out of it and made a law behind it. You know, so mm-hmm. you know, you know, it, 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 it put people in crazy situations. But some guys don't understand it. Man, I ain't doing nothing. Got me sitting. In the, it's a cool law period. Mm. You know they they need time for man. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm ready to come on right <laughs> oh, yeah. now. Yeah, they better get out in two hours. Man, I'm cool. I'm I'm past that. One Boy. hour. You didn't learn everything. Everything. What not to do? You know Dress out, man. Go upstairs. Yeah, yeah. you going ride. upstairs? Oh for yeah. For what? They want cap. They want to talk to somebody because they can't understand. Like why I'm going upstairs, man? I ain't really even did nothing. Like you know what I'm saying? She called the police, but they trying to explain. But I don't want to hear. Dress out and go upstairs. <laughs> Hey, you drive, you stay in that box with them three days. Right, right. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. In that hotel cell, like, right, right. Niggas be coming in there, niggas be wondering, like, man, because you a nigga who don't want to go upstairs. Because as long as you downstairs, you got a you you, shot. Man, you, shot. You, <laughs> you could be in that bitch on three murder charges. Right. As long as you downstairs, you feel it cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that bad. Boy, when them bitches say, Come on that wall. Oh yeah. What you go that niggas go that school. What, what they for? What they what they going in the line for? Cause niggas in this tank like what, what yeah. they calling? Why they yeah, calling me? Why they me? calling me? Niggas like, oh they gonna dress out to go upstairs. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> Cause you think they about to go yeah, home. They, they, yeah. they don't wanna go up that step. Right, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, they about to send you upstairs. These are all the people boy. they calling yeah. to go upstairs. Right, right. TV shot. <laughs> Bring you in the room, oh, yeah. Man. You still be think niggas in line still be you know uh, 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 in denial that I'm going upstairs. Yeah, right. So you go in that motherfucking room in the enemies, right? <laughs> Last six months, you have a TB test. What are you wow. talking about? What, what, what you doing? All <laughs> yeah, you trying to get they trying to get you in order to where, where flow yeah, you yeah, going? Yeah, no, yeah. we need yeah. to know. Where, yeah, where well, we can <laughs> send you at? Where we got to put you right. Yeah, yeah. It, when they hit you with that in the enemies. Right. Yeah. yeah You going upstairs Upstairs yeah. You know what I'm saying yeah. The last time I went to jail Boy I did not want to go upstairs For nothing Man I'm on a fucking Traffic attachment dog Like mm-hmm. the people ain't come get you They got this many hours yeah. Man the bitches ain't come dog I'm like man I'm not ready for this Right Right. I know cause Dog When a nigga set in This is what it is Once you, once you yeah. set in Upstairs yeah. and you sit in Oh yeah that Fuck first it Nigga don't want it Cause nigga know it. It's liable to go Any type of way When a nigga get up This bitch right. You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. So you, you that, That's the reason Why you don't want to go yeah. You know right. what I'm saying right. Because you don't You're gonna get lost Once it, You once, get lost yeah, yeah you'll get lost But you're gonna get In the mind frame Man If it go that way However it go man just what well, it is yeah, Cause yeah. I ain't about to let a nigga fuck over me So whatever right. Now you Now you in that, that mind frame Cause you know if you go upstairs It's bound that you can yeah, get you in a fight Yeah you passed up If you get in a fight in a holding cell You can get You, you catch charges in there too Like in a holding cell Cause I done seen people fuck Not over, really getting a fight I saw them arguing to a level Where it was about to lead to a fight So I'm just asking like If, if somebody was a fight in a holding cell Can they get Rebooked on a charge Your for blood fighting is drawn and shit. Yeah, I don't think upstairs downstairs got anything to do yeah, with no that. Difference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just yeah. asking because I'm just thinking like you know uh, they just separate y'all, put put them in another cell, you know, and separate y'all. For the most cases I see, when there's blood involved, right? Then they'll go with their. That move. shit fuck you up so much, but I'll be trying to tell you, dog. Like sometimes 
you know who you is, bro. So you're not too much concerned about getting fucked over. You know what I'm saying? It's the the shit that's you know making you feel, bro. Like I don't want to adapt to that shit. I don't want to go back through that mm-hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying? Eating these type of food. You know what I'm saying? Lock down. Shower. The control. I'm hitting yeah. all hearing all these fucking conversations that a nigga got, and you know what oh, I'm saying? Because yeah. once Damn. a nigga adapt that mentality right there, like yeah. that's when you feel yeah. like I'm set I'm in, in this bitch. I'm, I'm back. Go and take a shit, putting the curtain Good up. Enough. Yeah, the nigga don't want to turn the boy. fucking trash can backwards and all. I got time for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Cooking in the shower. Man, man I don't got time <laughs> for that <laughs> shit, man. Well, so when a nigga adapt that, and once you get in there, like, fuck it. So yeah, that's the type it. of time I was on once a nigga dressing out because the, the shit that you was thinking in the holy tank, that's gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you dressing out. You man. dressing out. Man, I'm going to that bitch and I'm dressing out. So I didn't doubt that mentality. Fuck it. Side nine and a half, man. Come on, y'all moving too slow, man. You know, nigga, nigga ready to yeah, go. Nigga I'm ready to move, nah. I want to take a shower. Yeah, nigga yeah, ready to get the right, 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 You know what I'm saying? Done. Man, them bitches call my name. Oh, stop him, stop him. Ooh, ooh. He getting out. Ooh, ooh. Nah, nigga, mad. Man, yeah. fuck nigga. What you got? I got my mind yeah. kept yeah. yeah. up there. Nah, it's not. I should play games yeah. with your nah, fucking head. Nah, it's not. Nah, it's not. Started Joseph. You know what I'm saying? That shit play mind games with your fucking head. That shit ain't the place to be, bro. So. That's where you're going to end up, bro, if you're not strong enough to walk away from that domestic violence shit, dog. Right. You're going to be in that bitch, bro. Yeah, I'm I totally get you. it. I totally get it, brother. That Slim shit ain't the place it, to be. Slim said, I can't be riding for domestic violence. So niggas ain't riding you. Distance. Niggas ain't come to see you. That, that shit, dog. Right. Then it's crazy, bro. You be on the bogus charge, and niggas be like, man... Some of your charges will make a nigga turn their back on you. Some of your charges, that's some fucked up shit, huh? You could be yeah. so, I'm saying, you could be so jammed with a nigga, but determining what you went to jail with, that'll make you not fuck with me. Right. Hmm. Right. I thought you had love for me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But you're not, you, you not respected that I would beat this bitch up. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Right. You don't rock like oh, yeah, that. Yeah, oh, nigga yeah, weak, man. Yeah. nigga doing, man. Oh, nigga on a rape charge? Man, I don't fuck with no nigga on a rape charge. Mm-hmm. But nigga who on that charge, like, man, nigga, I ain't know what happened. This is my dog. I know he coming. So now you <laughs> blowing in the phone <laughs> on a nigga and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hanging that bitch up. Right, right, yeah, yeah, that that kind right. of shit. Cause I, I ain't you never look at it to that fuck. degree, but that's mainly how it go. You know what I'm saying? They can go to jail on oh, a certain good. charge, whether they know if you right or wrong, just the charge that you own. I ain't fucking with them. Like, well, that's <laughs> so for don't that call boy. my phone. Right? For real. Don't call my phone. Oh, they'll know. He went to know. jail, went to jail from less than a look. Man, you know, you try to go to finding reasons that you saw it already. I saw it in them. <laughs> right, right. I'm telling you. I my, saw it in them. Dog. My fall partner I caught juvenile life with, right? Mm-hmm. Man, he lived there at this time. But the nigga, I don't know, bro. The nigga ain't had no tennises, bro. You know what I'm saying? On the street. Yeah, he never showed nothing. But as a nigga, you know, in LTI, we joking and shit, went in the same dome. But I see how the nigga starting to move and shit. Like, bro, you ain't even been up here that long. You know what I'm saying? You starting to... Always be by this little dude over here. Mm-hmm. And niggas come and telling me shit. And I know how my nigga rolling on the street. So whatever a nigga come tell me about, homie, I don't even want to hear you, dig? But it be like so many people start saying the same shit. Well, nigga might not have, you know, penetrated or fuck with no dude to that level. But it's starting to make things, man, it's some kind of truth in this shit. Man, mm-hmm. everybody ain't just saying this yeah, shit. Everybody ain't you know lying. what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody ain't got the, a problem with you in that manner. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then I start seeing it for myself and shit. I just start seeing a nigga dabbing niggas off and, you know what I'm saying? Doing like getting your extra rub on the dab and shit. I'm like, man, what type of time you on? Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Then nigga laughing and smiling. Never said nothing. This nigga laughing and smiling. Y'all niggas tripping. You right. know what I'm saying? And, Nigga mm-hmm. kept that shit up, bro. And then, man, he, nigga got out. He yeah. got out of you? No, I, I I got out probably about six, seven months before him. You know okay. what I'm saying? But when the nigga got out, niggas was like, man, you heard the boy in such and such home. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, that's good. That's cool. But I know my, how my life going. There ain't no nigga I even want to fuck with on yeah, the street. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm there, you know, we got different lives. I'm, nigga, I'm damn yeah. grown now. You know what I'm saying? Man, about a week, two weeks later, after that, I don't know where this nigga get money from, but this nigga went got a motherfucking, the brand new big old truck off the lot, you know what I'm saying? Nigga got money and shit. Like, first couple of days, huh, I don't know where the nigga that came up on, what he robbed somebody or whatever. Mm-hmm. Man, about another week after that, nigga was on the news, bro. 
nigga was kidnapping people, break, kidnapping little kids, bringing them to McDonald's and shit, sexing them. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah, he was a predator. He was a he, he he turned into a predator. Right. Not a nigga doing life in that gold. You know what yeah. I'm saying? For that fetish. same shit that he was doing in jail, in jail. it started the signs juvenile. of in juvenile. Right. Not a nigga in that gold right now. He never getting out because he was bringing little kids, pulling, getting out on the put chopper, get in here, bringing them McDonald's and shit, raping them. Man, and now you in that gold. Yeah, it be it, it goes back to the topic of you saying. A lot of people be having secret agendas. No, I, you, you know what? You know this. You know the conversation we was on. Well, I told you that, huh? Because that, that that that's one of the niggas that was calling the nigga. Now I'm telling you about yeah, certain why, charges why you, you, why you, on, why you boy, don't boy, get. Nigga ain't, boy, no, he don't call me. <laughs> right. right. Yeah, you know, but they got they also got people that go to jail on a bogus charge on that level of uh, you know he he just you got got a you know got got somebody said that he did something that he didn't do due to whatever may be the case so sometimes you know besides just cutting a person off sometimes you got to like do your own investigation about it to find out you know what I'm saying before you just directly just cut somebody off you know what I'm saying cuz like I said I had a crew of people that went to jail for a situation that was considered like a rape situation and you know when it all broke down they 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 didn't do that the girl just was 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 scared because it was late, and when she went home, she told her mama like I had been raped. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And they wound up catching the charge because they was all affiliated. Not that everybody even did nothing with her, just mm-hmm. that the people that was affiliated with that situation of being there, mm-hmm. all of them went to jail for it. They wound up beating the charge because the girl like you know just confessed it that I, I, you know I lied on them. Like you know what I'm saying? So if I would have cut them guys off, you know pre- prematurely. On that situation, I'd have been dead wrong because I knew them, I knew them, I ran with them, and they never showed me no signs of that. And in that particular situation, the girl had them wrong on, on that, on that, mm-hmm. on that, on that side of it. So, you know, it it, it, yeah. it, it, it gives a take, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Always, you know, because of what you got convicted for or what you got in trouble for. I'm gonna see how shit gonna you. go with you when you get out. I'm, 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 right. I'm gonna let the judge determine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna let the judge determine what they gonna determine. But it did. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna fuck with you or not. Right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't just taking your word that it wasn't that because every nigga go to jail it ain't that. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. And I know that, so I'm gonna let the judge, I'm gonna let you see determine what's going on with you. You know what I'm saying? I think I it's think me. You dig? I think deep down inside, why why it made sense to me was because. Prior, you know, like prior to them going to jail for it, you know, like the next day you, and then talk, you, know the to, you talk to everybody. Yeah, when you talk to everybody, everybody, man, I ain't, man she was on this. Like, you know, that's bragging mm-hmm. rights to guys. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, bro, we bust up. We did, you know, we done had things. We call it a shang dang. Like, when we just gather with a bunch of guys and get some girls and everybody go in different little spaces of the house and do them. That was like called a shang dang. Like, that's something that, that we used you to said call she was it. Young? She wasn't young. She just was, uh, she just got home late. And when she got home late, you know, it was like, you know, what happened? What you doing coming home four o'clock in the morning? Mm. Oh, I got raped, you know. Well, what? You know, not a mom. I didn't change from you being in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Rape. And then come to find out, she went all the way with it, did and went back and now they done arrested some people for a situation that didn't happen in the manner that she told her mama. She just was trying to get out of trouble, not thinking that her mom would have went that far to find mm-hmm. out how, how deep it run and who, who who was involved. You know what I'm saying? So it should just get crazy, like, you know what I'm saying? And that's why, that was one of the main reasons that I didn't directly cut them off because I talked to them the day after and I knew that, you know, Nobody was up for rape or no trouble. So nigga was like, man, we ain't even, fuck. you know, she was, yeah, nah, I couldn't fuck with her. Like, I wanted some head. She ain't want to do this. I just left her alone. Like, you know, so you it know, hurt. like, yeah. if it were, really would have went down, it would have been saying, boy, we bust her up last night. Yeah. It would have been bragging rights because that's how we was as young dudes, just bragging on, you know, it's called putting one under the belt. You know what I'm saying? How, how long it was in there? They was in that bit for some months. Right, right. See, yeah, you know, you just, just getting them. right out. You yeah, they, they, go once, the once they went down, yeah. uh, well, first they had to go down and, and, and just give a statement, DNA and all this. Uh. So when they went did the statement, it was like they told their story and it was like y'all free to go. And then they came and round up, like you know, like maybe two days later they came round up and they went to picking up people. And when they picked up people, it was like damn, you know what I'm saying? Like this, this, this what they faced with, you know, 25 to life. You know what I'm saying? It was all there. It was me. Him, oh, oh him. they can start putting out in that. Well, the only ones that was left there was me, him, and him. 
Well, let's go get me and him and him. Because yeah. nigga ain't trying to go to jail. The young boy is like, I don't want to go to jail by myself. They, first of all, they already made a statement, thought that. <laughs> nigga said, I don't want to go to jail with them niggas. Yeah, you know, they thought. <laughs> I don't want to go by myself. Yeah, but I, I, I just knew that, you know, they hadn't, like, went all the way with that because, like I said, it was bragging rights to, to, to be in went that route. This is what I want to get into before we leave out here, man. Because uh, this is a big statement. Nigga, Gunner. Sold out the Barclays Center in New York, and that's the same fucking arena that Money Back Yo, Little Baby and shit. They shows got canceled because the seats and the tickets that were getting sold, it didn't make no sense to even have a show. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's the street niggas that we look up to, uh, and we like their music. Niggas ain't folding. You know what I'm saying? This type of shit like that. But gonna. On the other hand, that's supposed to be the rat. That's supposed to be the nigga who getting canceled. That's supposed to be the nigga that nobody ain't fucking with. And nigga talking about, boy, they had people outside. He sold it out and they had people outside. Still, still trying to get in. They couldn't right. get in. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's why I say that shit don't hold no weight. And I don't be... This is this, this one thing, bro, that I got to really break down. I don't be advocating for a nigga to rat. I'm advocating to let you know the shit not right. real and the nigga gon' rat on you. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think yeah. niggas getting that misconstrued. Like, yeah. nigga, gas wants you to rat. Like, nah, yeah. nigga, I'm I'm advocating to let you know, bro. Like, nigga, that rat shit and keeping it real, not real. Niggas gon' rat on you, my nigga. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah, that's the that's, that's the basics of it all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you 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 we know that the law and the code is that you shouldn't, but. With, 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 when there's no consequences to the action, it just only allow more people to feel like shit. I'm doing what's best for me. If riding on you is what's gonna get me free, then that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't feel like nothing gonna come from it. I ain't gonna catch catch no real deep back. Like you might talk about it for a minute, but ultimately, like it don't stop my people. It don't stop nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the thing about being canceled is that a real reality? Being canceled. Hold on, let me get to that. I don't want, I don't want, oh, okay, because I, yeah, I, 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 I went to canceling. It was in my mind. Because, and I'm telling you that why a nigga going to rat? Because they seen that nothing changed with the person who have ratted. See, I'm telling you, don't do something because the nigga going to rat. And I'm telling you the reason a person going to rat because there's nothing that's going to happen to him. That's what's making him rat on you, bro, because mm-hmm. they see a nigga like Gunner and 6 9 and other people, nothing happening to them. This nigga selling out everything. That's that. That's the number one song of the motherfucking year. You know what I'm saying? From a nigga, that's why I say that shit ain't real, bro. You got to start living for for you, my nigga, because the niggas who going to rat on you, the niggas who call yourself gang gang when you doing shit, bro, they going to rat on you. You're going to go to jail. You're going to get killed. Niggas ain't come and put flowers on your grave, my nigga. Yeah, you half, know what I'm saying? Half of them don't even come to your funeral. It, 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 it got people... It, it got people, bro, that we really, really love. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. your grandma. I'm talking about you. You got more love, and your grandma got more love for you than any person on the street that you could say I'm gang gang with. Right. You ain't go to your grandma grave over a decade, my nigga. Probably more than that when she from the time her funeral was. Mm-hmm. You didn't go. Right? Why you think a nigga on the street gonna go when your own grandma you never went to? Right, right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. I'm guilty of that. You, you, you yeah, see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I ain't go to my grandma's grave in I don't know how long. Right. So why I'm gonna feel like another nigga I'm calling myself gang gang with on the street gonna keep it real my, and gonna come to my grave. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because niggas love for the moment. Nigga love for when you here. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Out of sight, out of mind. They got female that you love. really like. You know what I'm saying? They got they females like that you really, really was in love with, bro. Mm. That you not attracted to You don't think about her You have no feelings for her Especially if she's not attractive no more <laughs> Fat and all like, you, you don't even think about her But at the time that you was in a relationship with Boy I'm talking about You put your head on the chopping block for her the Because guy. it's love for the moment bro right. mm-hmm. So you gotta start doing something for you My niggas when you go to jail And you go in that fucking grave If you know bro how fast it is For somebody to forget about the day You will start living for yourself that's big. That's 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 big. You know what really? I'm saying? That's some real stuff right there. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think people even take time to think about it because, like you say, it's the moment. So people be so caught up in the moment to death don't even come to mind. It's just when death happens that these things <laughs> tend to happen. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When when you in when when you running with these people, you feeling like 
you're going to do everything that you say you're going to do. You know, man, something happened to you. I'm never for you. I got your kids. I'm going to do this. Like, like all that feels real at the moment. But once you're out of the picture, it's almost like yeah. I don't even have nobody to, to impress or, or or do it for to, to, to for the for it to mean nothing, like yeah, you know, in so many sound, words, like you know what I'm saying. So, you know, uh, you know, people. This the type of shit that a motherfucker need to share. That 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 a motherfucker need to take heed to the shit I said about your own nigga. I ain't no nigga on this street love me more than my motherfucking grandma, hmm. and I ain't been to her grave. Right, real talk. Mm-hmm. And it That's ain't, shit, but bro. but it ain't on no level of like less love for your grandmother. No, it just the, it, it, it just the, the guy honest true and the thing behind it that a nigga didn't go. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nigga didn't go. Right. Mm-hmm. So, so I'm saying, you know, listen to what I'm trying to say. With, with, with you saying that and knowing that you still love your grandmother, it, it didn't take no love from that you have for your grandmother. So right. when people not coming to those, those people, great, their partners or whatever... It, but that's it, it the don't. stigma that the nigga put out there. You know what I'm saying? About being gang gang. Like you said, I got you, nigga. Right. I'm posting you up. I got your kids. All that is fake, bro. Right, right. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's the point that I wanted to, to, to get to because I know that you could probably look at it the same way. Where if you ain't go to your grandmother's grave and you know you love her like with all your heart, like what makes that any different when it comes down to your partner not coming to your grave and he loves you wholeheartedly, you know? Mm-hmm. That that that's that's the stigma of that's what a nigga going to do, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, yeah. That's real. Like, I, I, I get what you're saying. I, I, I want to just bring clarity to that. That's what, we, that's what we blinded by. I'm with you, nigga. You know what right. I'm saying? Dead do way, us yeah. apart. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Say, till death do us apart. <laughs> so, fuck a nigga when he die, huh? I mean, that's how it sound like. Yeah, it till death do us apart. Till death. You know what I'm saying? Once they don't die, say, you know what I'm saying? Once his die, keep coming to, you know, keep coming talking to me, you know? I don't know. But, but you know what, bro? It's the stigma of that's what's going to happen. And that's what a nigga portray. That's why it's, it is it, it, it come to the point where niggas won't 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 that stigma to be known. That's why I'm doing videos at the graveyard. You know what I'm saying? I, that's, that's why I'm doing videos and I'm making music about my dead home and don't speak on the dead you know what I'm saying cause that's the stigma nigga gone and it's still you know what I'm he's saying still, still riding with him nah and that ain't the case bro you know yeah. what I'm saying yeah for most people like you know what I'm saying I, w- I would say most I, I've seen a few videos here and there that, that's what I'm saying I'm yeah. saying that's the reason why a nigga go cause that's the stigma yeah, that nigga yeah. wanna put out yeah. yeah they probably did it for the year after the death but we, mm-hmm. we ain't gonna see this year in year out. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna see this when he's 45 years old. I'm going to my partner grieve. To, you know what I'm saying? You know mm-hmm. that's, that's a strong that's a strong res, uh, responsibility for a nigga who you rocking with. You got your family and you got your kids, and it's hard for you for you to adopt the the responsibilities of your partner family and his kids. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. It, it, some people, like you I said, most that. people just not even in position. But, but, but hey, that's what they want you to feel. And I, I think, you know, what's wholeheartedly, I think people feel like that's how far they're going to really go in the moment. I just think the love you got for the person when they heal in the flesh, that's how far you feel like you'll go. Because love is for the moment. That's the person. That's the that's the point I'm making. Love is for the moment. That's why I used the old, your old lady when you was with her. You loved her, bro. Because nah, because if you love somebody, bro, no matter if you with them or not, you still love them. They don't have to be your old lady no more. That could be your ex. But if you love them, love them, mm-hmm. genuinely, you still love them. Nah, man. Nah, that was for the moment. You don't you don't even think about this girl no more. You don't have no feelings for her. So you're going to say when you was with her, man, my feelings was real, but I ain't with her no more. They ain't real. Nah, bro, you loved her. You love her. You are still love her. Don't matter if you're in a relationship with her. It's 20 years down the line. Mm-hmm. You still should love her if you loved her for real. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You ain't got to be in a relationship with her no more to love her. You know what yeah, I'm saying? People usually tend to say that, I got love for you. You know, mm-hmm. like, you know, because I'm not in love with that you. That automatic I have love for you now. You That's know what, what it was. I was in love with you. Yeah, I, I was didn't in love, love you. with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That should be likes, man. I'm telling you. So, it it, or, or it's a strong infatuation. It or, or it could be a strong yeah. infatuation, you know, like to, to a level. Because people tend to mix up love and infatuation as being the same thing. Because I guess it feels closely to the same thing. Like, you know, you, you know, when you're strongly infatuated with somebody, you may feel like you love that person until y'all depart and you find out, like, I could do without her. Like, it don't even matter. Like, so, you know, 
it'd be like a strong infatuation more like you know that's what I was that's what it was for the moment like you know what I'm saying but like you said if somebody really loves somebody they can still love them they're just not in love with them it's almost like I got love for her but I don't want nothing to happen to her I don't want no mm-hmm. wrong to do her if, if, if I could help her and it, I love her I love her kids boy nigga stop being in a relationship boy nigga got nothing to do with them kids cause the nigga was <laughs> only fuck with your kids on the strength of you, that, of you. I of fuck you. with you you know what I'm and that come yeah. with that's a package. It, it, if, if, I can't, dog, yeah. if I can't love them when I'm, you know, am in, whilst I'm in this relationship, I'm gonna lose you some form of fashion. They, mm-hmm. they know that. Like, It'll you know? die when she dog you though. No fuck you. Yeah, I don't ever fuck with you. You loved her for real though, but shit, that shit gonna end that day. You think somebody? Uh, you, you you think I'm, I'm, you know? Because there's no absolute or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I think there's there's people that tend to still like. Fuck with a kid Like outside of Not a lot It's a little But they might still Like you know I really love that kid And they still do For the kid Take care of him The whole nine Like you know what I'm saying Because they really Looked at the kid They Within their heart They looked at that kid As my kid mm-hmm. You know I think When somebody Take on a Get into a relationship And take on Like I know this is not Biologically my kid But I've been Taking care of this kid And I love this kid Like my own 17 You know years, yeah. I think that they'll go, go through the duration Of looking out For that kid If they really Feel like I yeah. love her like my own. Like I yeah. think that's a different type of. Uh, that takes some time. Yeah, that, well, seven yeah. years ain't gonna do that. That, 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 that. <laughs> seven, seven years, years ain't, ain't gonna, gonna do that. that. Twenty yeah. years, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not gonna do that. It, it'll do that as long as you single. You know what I'm saying? But when you get in a relationship with somebody else, the other female feels some type of way. Nah, that ain't your kid. And then you better not have a kid for the for the new female. And still. You, you're not you're not even allowed to do that. That, that. That's no blood with you. That ain't your kid. You ain't got no connection with that kid. This your kid right here. Like so, that shit ain't gonna work, bro. Mm. Yeah, it, I think it'll start problems, but you it know, definitely yeah, gonna start problems. Most, most guys don't Choose even. Me or them. Most guys don't even tell the new person if they love that kid like that. Yeah. They don't even tell her that that's not my kid yeah. biologically. They just be like, I got a child with her. Like got some people like that because they don't even want you to even to feel it's like not, yeah. it's not mine because I love that child like it's my own. Mine, so yeah. I claim them. That's got some people that claim they stepchildren like that. They be like, that's my son. Yeah, but mm-hmm. that's that that. That, I can see a person doing that when they don't know how far it going to go with the person that they with. That's some uh, just meeting the new yeah. per, the new chick. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That's what I'm as, saying. As, as, as time goes on, if you tell them or not, I'm, I'm about to get involved with your family, about to get involved with your mama, your sisters, your brothers and shit. I'm about to know your whole family in a few years to where we going to automatically know. Well, who is that? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nah. So either way it go, bro, you creating problems in the beginning of if you tell them or uh, at the end because you didn't tell them. It's like, nah, that shit ain't about to work. Right. <laughs> and then so I'm using an analogy of this, bro. Like when you were saying, interesting. Uh, when, when you were saying that every person that I fuck with. Niggas ain't me. Like I'm, all, they they gonna remember me. I ain't never forget because it was something that you did, bro. That made them love you. They love you. That's why they're not gonna forget mm-hmm. who you is. Not specifically the thing. Uh, they just like man, that was Mike. That was Mina. Nah, bro, they loved you. You know what I'm saying? If, a, if you feel like that about somebody, bro, that they ain't gonna forget you because they loved you. If they with you or not, that was love. Right, mm-hmm. I, I just don't. I just look at it like to some a level. people say fuck me. Some females you say yeah, fuck with fuck me. I don't care some, what he did. They, when I what I meant by that was like not that they still directly love me. Meaning like no, I'm saying that I'm saying that you ain't say that, but yeah. I'm saying that's why I'm saying that's why yeah, if, if, they, if it happened in that if, case, if they remember you like that, and they ain't gonna never forget about you because you hold yeah, a special right. place in their heart and they love you. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I would, I would agree with you on that. You know, and I know, like what you say about, there are some people that just feel like, fuck that boy, like you know what I'm saying to that case. But what, what I was meaning in, in that sense is that my mark was still made with you, regardless if you forget about me or not. You gonna always remember, like I did fuck with him yeah. or I did, you know, whatever, whatever. Yeah, staying, and, like yeah. you know, you ever dealt with somebody and you just like, you know, I don't know if y'all ran across anything like that where you'd be like. I, I was on her. You, you know what I'm saying? You don't even remember if you was on her. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, and I'm, I'm saying, I, I don't think I'm ever put in that situation like where you would forget Can't if you was remember. even fucking with me or you yeah. even did something with me or nothing like that. Right. Like, I think but, I made my mark with that. But, but they got some people that you had a better relationship with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Than others. Than others. I'm saying, it, it's some people that you had a better relationship with than the people who saying, I'll never forget him. 
You see what I'm saying? Right. It got this chick who you like was in a better relationship with her, and that's the one saying "fuck you." That forgot about you, and the one that you who you saying that never forget you. They had less love for you than the person who's saying "fuck you" at the moment. You see what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So that's why I say that shit. Nah, bro, you better start. I I live my life, my nigga, and I also, bro. If a nigga don't do this, they ain't keeping it real with himself. Anybody that I deal with, I expect them to do the best for them and their family. No matter if it's a female or a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna do the best for for, for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If a nigga say they, I expect a nigga to do that. Mm-hmm. If a nigga don't do that, you playing for games. Yourself, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna be like, man, I love her, I love her, I love her. No, this is what it is. Nah, bro, I gotta do what's best for me and what's best for my family. I'm not about to tell my new chick that, man, this is my stepson. Man, I'm doing what's best for me and my family at hand. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, 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 I get that. Like, you know, I... I Totally understand that you ain't say nothing wrong. With that ain't that. my Not kid. Yeah. yeah, that's right. That's real shit. Right, but you know, <laughs> Not a counseling shit. <laughs> it's it's, 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 can- can- it's counseling real. Like, is is it a real thing? Is it you know because you know this, is, show you. this is something that's thrown around. I mean, but they got you know we've heard it a lot. Like you know we. You, Gunna, Gunna, you know, I didn't really hear the word of being canceled. Just like he just had the rap reputation or whatever, but they wasn't really directly saying, you know, he's canceled or whatever. It wasn't they wasn't putting no that stigma play. on yeah. his name. But they have people that do. They're gonna cancel such and such. They canceled the baby. They like they was using that particular term on certain people. Like you know what I'm saying. And I was just trying to see if you know I wanted a breakdown on. Canceling, like you know, what I'm saying, can can people be canceled in in this society or this you know that we live in right now? Like you know, is it, you know, and if they can, how can a, a person be canceled? I don't know. I just feel like the canceling shit. It it, ha- it happened to the elite people, billionaires who on that level, who trying to get to the next level, or who trying to uh, do shit to where uh, they need the people uh, to fuck with them. The, the elite people, as far as the people, millionaires and people who down here, bro, is no canceling because the fans control that shit. The baby, we gonna cancel from saying some LGBT shit and all that. Nigga selling our shows. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Gunner did this. We gonna cancel them. Six nine did this. He on the song with Kodak. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. mm-hmm. not not that phase, bro. You know what I'm saying? The mm-hmm. phase where Kanye, I need a Dita, Dita, Kenna Swagman, and Swagman best friends <laughs> with Kirschmans and all this old yeah, stupid yeah, ass right. shit. That's the people that we trying to get to the next level. That's the people who I feel like we could cancel you once you get to that level. But all these other people, man, just in the world. Where the fans contribute to to their success, yeah, you can't cancel it's, you that. Can't, it's too many people, right? Right, because they you you can't dictate to those people who they're going to support or who they're not. Right. On a on a next level, you could be like, I'm the one that's blessing you with this a certain amount of money. So when I say I'm gonna cancel you, only meaning I'm not going to give you the money that's going to take you to the next level. So that's why. I, you feel like those people can get canceled because they're getting a boatload of money from one particular organization, one company right. or whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, but we're judging with the majority of the people. You can't get in everybody's head and just say, yeah. we're going to cancel him. And then I say that and yeah. everybody agree with Don't nobody. There's too many him. people in this world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, tell me what the light. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They're going to rebel with you just because you told them. Yeah. yeah. Gonna like you. You're going to cancel him. Cancel him. Boy, Kai Gucci. You. <laughs> made one of the women that bitch and spent three million. <laughs> You, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. right. Yeah. Yeah, it right, used to have power back in the days, like, but it don't even have that type of power because we 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 not on one accord like that. In this Fuck the nigga, think he is. Tell me where to spend my money at. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. So all, this, all that type of shit. Right. Big where that bitch spent three billion. Real right. quick. See, I say, boy, cut have a bees when it come, nigga. I seen everybody in that bitch. Right, it, 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 don't, it don't hold no weight because because you know people looking like. I'm gonna do what the fuck I want to do at the end of the day. Like, you know yeah, what I'm that part. Yeah. I saw Trader True doing that shit. Doing you know what, what I'm saying? Boy, Kyle Houston, and you know what I'm saying? All this shit. Man, you be so fucking mad to where uh, niggas ain't listening. You fuck around and eat there again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck all that shit. For real, man. Fuck. But you do got some good steaks. Right, right, right. <laughs> it, man, it cave in, like, because it, it holds no weight with the people. Like, you know, right. you might you might get, do a community of, 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 of Doing something with a movement, but it can't do it as a uh, as a global, United yeah. States thing or a global thing. You, you get can't, sixteen you people. That. Yeah, you get a few people. You get sixteen yeah. people not to go to that. <laughs> See, that's what yeah, made that's what made that's what made uh, Farrakhan so you know powerful. You know, saying just speaking on a million man march. I got a million motherfuckers came here to stand for this cause that I'm about to go with. Ten you know million what I'm didn't go. 
10 million didn't go? I'm saying you got a million that came, but you got 10 yeah, million. Yeah, you got more than it didn't go. But yeah, it, it still looked like a form of power to a yeah. level because you got so many people to come on one accord. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, mm-hmm. and still ain't nothing changed. That's what I'm saying, because 10 million didn't go. <laughs> right, it still ain't For nothing real. changed. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, people just sometimes be a part of something just because. It's a movement that's at hand. Like, you know what I'm saying? They just want to put their face out there that I was standing for that movement. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, when they go back to the shit that we ain't standing on that movement no more, everybody back to the shit that they was st- pulled to be fighting for, fighting, mm-hmm. fighting against. And nigga be, they try to, you know, nigga, I don't know, bro, because people will be like, when you go start thinking that, oh, man, nothing ain't going to happen, you get them people, that's what they want you to think. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you know they come. Shit not happening, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I don't know how it's gonna change, bro. You dig? But shit don't be happening, bro. I just think That's you can have. I, I just think you can. No I just think you can have a certain kind of power within maybe a community of people more than uh, uh, you know, uh, like the whole, like a global thing. Like I, I, I think that you know, like because even with the boycotting of the bus, that was in a particular area. It wasn't that everybody was boycotting the bus everywhere. in New Orleans and everywhere else. It was yeah. just in that particular community they stood on it and they forced their hand on it, and we saw something happen. But when it comes down to like changing something as a, on a global standpoint, it's too many people with their own mind to say like, man, I'm not walking. We need 10,000 yeah. petitions. I'm not walking. Especially in today's, you know what I'm saying, yeah. 2023, 24. It ain't happening like that. Now, back in the 60s and 50s and shit, yeah, yeah. And they come out and, with And a, it could have been because we had more togetherness, meaning like we, we was back going then through. Now. Back then, we had more, you know, uh, we was going through segregation at the time where black people had to be, we all we got. We had to so stand So if we're going to stand for that, we got to stand for it as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Today, with, with everybody, like, integrated, Boy, look, I'm not doing it. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't feel like they have to, like, you know, in, in those cases, because the yeah. shit that y'all was pulled up and fighting for, we all got it now. You know, some people think we, it's e- equality is there. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got the same opportunity as that white man right there got. I can do the same thing he do. I just got to put, put a good foot forward. That's what they believe. So how can you change the mind of somebody like that with saying, listen, bro, it's systematic racism. We can't, I don't believe that shit. You know what I'm saying? So if you can't get everybody to first of all, first First of all, believe what you're saying on the reason that we're doing it. You're never going to get everybody to do it. You see what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> like, you know, because right. everybody ain't oppressed no by see, the same thing. I can't get along. I just got to get my credit straight. I can get a loan from the bank. Right. Yeah. My people just got a loan. <laughs> like, just come on, man. Your name Tyrone Jones. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to get your credit straight. <laughs> you, know, you know, they show on such and such, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it be looking like, man, it's kind of more complicated, even if you get it. You know, but people just don't see it in that way because, like you said, they see other people doing it, which make it feel like what you were saying is not the truth to me. Mm-hmm. You know, and they might have a Real strong fact on what they talking about. It could be actually right. People that show all kind of factual things. Now this happened. This happened. I saw a couple. They was trying to sell a house. They could never sell a house for the amount of money they was trying to sell it for. So what the realtor did was come in there and change up the decoration in the house and made it a white family. Sold a house for like almost two times more than what they was trying to get for. Well, it you can't get no day. more than a prison. No, no, no. I mean, like. The, they, they was under the, the, the level of it, but they wound up getting way, way more for the house once the people felt like, you know what I'm saying? It was a white, that, couple, that, that, was a white couple or they was buying it from a, a particular white family. So that's some I factual that. stuff yeah. that people will be showing that this is what we're dealing with, but to some other p- person that got a big house, I, I don't know no what problems. that was. I had no problem. I had to get your money up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. you can't get everybody's mind to be on one accord because we're so, you know, everything's so integrated now to a level of like, I got a friend named Joey. I can get that done. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's your problem. That's not my problem. And it, it gets it becomes a level where we ain't gonna never be on one accord with it because we got different resources of what might do something for me and wouldn't do it for you. Mm-hmm. And I gotta worry, like you said, I gotta worry about me and my family, and that's why they go that route. And it's hard, bro. That's why it's, it's hard to, to get another person to think like you about certain shit. It's just not gonna happen, bro. Like you're saying, it's hard, bro. Like, no, you 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 can't even fathom, bro. They imagine some of the shit that I think about that you don't think about. That you right. you you can't, bro. Have a clue. Man, you don't have a clue, and vice versa. You know, what right. like I be mm-hmm. like, damn, Mina, you don't understand what I'm saying about this, bro. You really like thinking about some other shit. Like, no, I see it this way. Right. I I'm still fussing. Like, no, no nigga, you, you can't see this shit, but. 
Bro, you got a whole different mind, dog. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Different. I don't know what you thinking. Right. Nigga, right. I never know what another nigga thinking, bro. And that's why you never get on one of the call with niggas with certain shit. Usually right. the, the thing that will get me on the same call with somebody is the facts. You know, it, that's, that's how I am. Meaning, like, if you can show me the facts on, on what you're saying, then maybe I can understand it because... I mean, may not see it the way you're seeing it due to you have no facts. You just almost give me your opinion about mm-hmm. it. I'm telling you, this is what's going I hear you, bro, but I don't think it's that way. Now, if you can show me a facts behind what you're saying to see, like, okay, I can kind of see what you're saying, and I right. can see that as being I see it, yeah. the real. Now we can get on one you accord. It to me. So that's why a lot of people, you know, instead of leading with an opinion, they got to lead with this is the facts behind what my argument is. And a lot of people, you know, like to, you know, you know, like teach you or, 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 or guide you off of their opinion of what they feel about certain things. Like, mm-hmm. and, and I just think that that's what we lacking as as today's time. Like, you know what I'm saying? We don't have Joker? enough people uh, giving us uh, the factual side of shit, like to, 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 to bring us on one accord to see it the same way. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? You know, that's what I like about the, the brother, uh, what his name is? Israel? Israel? The, the, the Muslim cat, the young dude? Uh, I don't know, what his name is? Rizza? Rizza. He kind of be using a lot of facts on the level of what he, you know, what he put forward. He ain't just saying like this is what I think it is. He kind of show you factual details about, you know, look up this up, Google this, look this up, find this out there. Like he kind of tie the knots, like to make it like I kind of give it. Facts you're don't always work, you know what I'm saying? Because you can show don't. a nigga some facts, and it, it it still some motherfucker still feel like I got my own mind, bro. You showing me some shit in the paper, but. To me, I'm thinking logically, like, nah, that shit ain't real. You know, that's how some people think. Yeah, yeah. Well, my opinion overpowered them facts. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I just that think you that you, yeah, I just in, think, on the paper. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I just think that you, 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 a person like that choosing to ignore the facts. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because that's what you're saying. Like, I'm showing you facts and you're like, I still don't think it's real. Okay, well, you're ignoring what I'm showing you is real. Because cause, cause some shit be logically, you know what I'm saying, to where I don't think that's real, bro. Even if it's facts, dog. Even if it's facts, bro, and if I got some shit that I, I don't feel like that's good enough for me, bro, my opinion and what I what I think, I mean, you, overpower and you, that shit. And you have a right to it, but all I'm saying is that if, if I'm showing you the who fact, wrote that, who is Google? You know what I'm saying? Like niggas mm-hmm. saying that, who wrote that shit? Somebody mm-hmm. wrote that, bro. Who is Google? Somebody put that shit in Google, bro. Don't come showing me no Google talking about it's the facts. Somebody put that in Google. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You showing me anything, bro. A newspaper saying they got it right here in the newspaper. Bro, if somebody printed that fucking newspaper. Somebody up, wrote that up. That, that, that's why it's like that, bro. It's not like just saying it, it, it's facts, bro. But when you deal with laws and why laws was created and what's the Somebody facts wrote behind, that shit, too, yeah, depending they, on how they felt. Right, but then according to how they wrote it, it's like who it oppresses and who it don't. And then that's what makes the difference in according to this particular law, who 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 does this law affect mostly because mm-hmm. of what? You know what I'm saying? And then you you know, like they they have they have ways that logically you could see the facts and things as well. So like I say, most people just tend to ignore it because maybe they don't want to do the research. Maybe they don't want to read. Maybe they don't want to dig into All I'm saying is the, the, depth, the research have been done by somebody, bro. It's still a human. Wherever you get that from is still the human that implicated that wherever you getting it from that's different bro going in the fucking desert and finding dinosaur fossils and that's factual shit that nobody didn't wrote you see what I'm saying right. we got this shit we touched the DNA we know it's a fossil we know this shit been on, on, on the planet for this amount of years that's factual shit man don't get no Wikipedia you're talking about right here man somebody put that in Wikipedia mm-hmm. that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying that sometimes your own opinion be like man fuck what that say that, mm-hmm. that, that ain't fact somebody wrote that shit right sometimes, sometimes somebody people wrote could look the at bones in the book too yeah somebody wrote that and somebody say it's a time limit on that because they've been proven to be like this bitch was you know, five million years old. And then somebody else come across and, and got some new technology. Oh, that really was twenty million. So what the fuck is the fact? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, who, who the truth? That's facts right who, there. Yeah, who is the truth? That's like, facts. you know what I'm saying? Because if they got somebody that could come change what Einstein said, you heard what say to hit the facts button. That's facts. You ain't heard facts. That's, <laughs> That's facts. facts. <laughs> I put that shit in there. I think facts is what people. Yeah, put that in there. So, 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 what you're saying is, to, in so many words, facts is what people can actually relate to. That's factual to them, because whatever's Basically. not factual to the next person, that that, that fact don't hold no weight. But Basically. if it's factual to a particular person, then it's facts. Basically, yeah, because they got people that always will come and go against the facts that you saying you got, like mm-hmm. showing you that it happened another way or it's not that way. That, that, that's why. 
And they, they have strong points. That's yeah. why they have different religions. And that's why a nigga be like, man, we in a religious gang banging war. Because your research showed you that, man. My research they showed me this. this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so if that was fact, your research, we ought to be Muslims. If that was your research, man, right. they got Buddhism, Catholic. Man, she ice, and man. Then, and then, and then, when you get, and then when you get down to the breakdown, they all stole it from this. Everybody be Muslim, bro. If everybody felt like what Rizzo was saying to, be, to convert you over was, was factual, they right. wouldn't have no other religion, bro. Right. But Muslims. I mean, hmm. I stayed in my point. Facts you see what I'm saying? Was Factual to the person that's listening to the facts. They, facts is opinions, opinions until proven, until proven to that person. Different. Because hey, that person. Look, look, right? look, I'm going to give you a, a simple example. Boy, see when gang, I mean, <laughs> see, <laughs> see when this boy uh, speak, Thomas say something? Boy, it'd be, it be some real shit. I ain't going to lie. Thomas, <laughs> say it again. Break that shit down one Nigga more say time. Nigga facts is opinions until proven to, that, to per- that person. Because if they say, I'm looking at videos, UFOs real. The government put it out on their site. Yeah, now you coming out with it. But a nigga like, that shit ain't fucking real. Them people lying. They put that shit online. It's in Google. But then I go outside and see one of the bitches and that bitch drop. Oh, it's not, real. Not it's real. Right. It's real. It proved it to me. Right. <laughs> it's real. Right. Right. You, you know what I'm right. saying? That's a real, I ain't seen it. That's a real thing. <laughs> you never believe it. You, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, right. I ain't seen right. it. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling a nigga, nigga, I saw it. Man, fuck that. It's fake. Man. I ain't seen it. Facts. <laughs> But That's that, why the saying comes. We gotta that, see it to with, believe it. With things in that kind of, when with things rolling like that, that bro, just roll with your family, bro. That's what it sound like. <laughs> yeah. It sound like that's all we got, bro. Just stick, with your, end, <laughs> stick with your people. <laughs> at the, stick with your people, man. Because uh, stick with your people. These niggas man. making some logical points right here that make a lot of sense to the <laughs> facts that they speaking on. Bro, I'm and I'm starting to realize it shit makes it. sense. And stick with your people, people. man. Just stick with your people. <laughs> Stick with your people, bro. You know what I'm saying? Never your mama told you that was Oh, man. We your people, so stick with us. Right, (laughs) Jim. No Rap Cap Podcast. Every Tuesday, every Thursday, 7 p.m. I go by Gas the Hater, man. Man, I'm just the media, the instigator, brother. Big time of the media, (laughs) yeah. You already know what to watch. Watch this. Don't be watching that other shit. Boom.